dead enter my realm. Are you here to worship or mock me? I'm here to put an end to the vampire epidemic, Miss Fletcher. Ah, but Doris Fletcher is no more. She was consumed by this putrid flesh that now enshrouds her. You feel anger for what happened to you, but I can help you. I'm a doctor. Miss Fletcher. Doris Fletcher is no more. All that remains are the dreams of the queen she was and the queen she'll be. Until then, all shall die, for that was her final wish. You killed my father. Prepare to jump. Touché, sir. On guard. Behold, Kinslayer, the disgrace of she once renowned. Will she be the queen again once they share her fate? to die. And I did not come to kill you, Miss Fletcher. Will you spare me then? Save this cadaverous carcass of mine. Does your heart beat a little faster now? You fancy me then, Doctor? No, Miss Fletcher. My dead heart will beat for only one. Ah! Is she pretty? 
Is she sweet and tender? To me, yes. Ah! I hate her already. I know. And this is partly why you must be destroyed. But you just said... That I did not come here to kill you, yes. But I realize now the threat you embody must be stopped. <gasps> Will I be remembered? Will you? You were Doris Fletcher, the greatest actress of her generation. No one can take that from you. Thank you. And farewell. Farewell. Dramatic. I love it. McCullum. How strange I seem to find you whenever I'm inquiring about that skull infestation. I mean you no harm. I'm not here for you. But once I put all the pieces of the puzzle together, I'm sure we'll have a little chat, you and me. Stay away from me, McCullum. You and all your war dogs. That I can't guarantee, Dr. Reed. But I'll let you go. For now. I should probably leave the theater right now. <laughs> 